What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a picture of Hedwig from Harry Potter. I've also got a great art tip for you at the end of the video so don't forget to hang around for that. If you're enjoying these videos hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel to grow. Now we've got all that stuff out of the way let's get stuck into the video. Boosh! Okay so for today's video all you're gonna need is a pencil and a pen for doing the outline. We're just going to use the pencil to really map out the main bits of um, Hedwig. So we're doing the big circle for his head and we're going to just do a little oval for his body. And that's just really so to help us from going wrong. Right, so now we're going to move on to the pen. If you don't have a pen, just press down a bit harder when, you, when you're using your pencil. Right, so First thing, I'm just going to put a little quiff on the top for some fluffy feathers and then we're going to go round the side next and each time we're going to put a little jag, like a jagged edge in to make it look like little feathers sticking out. Okay, so follow that line. Just down to here where it meets the body. And then the same on the other side. Okay, brilliant. Right. So when you've done that next up, all we're going to do is we're going to add a line under, and this is where the scarf's going to go. So we're gonna, it can be a bit of a wavy line, that's okay. And then we'll do the sides. So because it's a bit of a fluffy scarf you, you're going to make a little bit of a curve out like brackets when you do this one and then join the lines and again it can be a little bit wavy that's fine after that we are going to pop in the bits that hang off so we do a curved line down to near where his foot might be and a curved line and then we're going to do another one. It joins like that. So it's like a little backwards L. So I'm trying to do it with really easy shapes just to make it nice and easy to copy. Okay, and then we're going to pop in while we're here on this the stripes. And then when we colour it in, we're going to give it the Gryffindor colours. Lovely. Next up then, we're going to do, let's do his eyes next. So on this one, again, you might want to use your pencil just to help you, just to make sure you get in the nice circles. Okay. And then when you pop in the eyes with your pen, it just makes it a little bit easier because you're following a line. You can stop halfway. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. And eye number two. Hedwig's eyes. We're going to do a big, like a crescent moon on the bottom of each one. Actually, what I like to do is put little stripes in this one as well. One, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter how many you do, to be fair. Okay, then we're going to put a nice highlight. One, two, and another one. One, two, and then we can colour in his eyes. <laughs> okay, make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because I'm going to give you an art tip. Okay, and if you want to get that tip, if you watch all the way to the end, you'll be able to hang on and get that tip. Lovely. Right, okay, next we better do his nose. So for his nose, it's going to hug over and then curve up and then go fat again. So if you want to practice this one with your pencil, you can. But it kind of hooks down. 
like that. Okay. Okay, lovely. It's looking all right. Okay, next we're going to have one hand up in the air and the other hand is going to be like down to his side. So we're going to go, this one was going to go up. Now we're going to make it a little bit curvy and then maybe put a few feather marks in. And then this one's going to go down and curve down to his side. Lovely. Okay, right, so here he's going to have one foot down and this foot's going to be up in the air. Okay, so this foot, let's do this one first. We'll add, so we'll add the bit here. So we know it's going to go along this line. So I'm just going to add a little drumstick. If you think about a chicken, that's where his little fat bit of his leg will be. And then sticking out will be the thin bit of his leg. So we've got a fat bit, a thin bit, a little kink out for his heel. And then we're just going to do a nice, easy foot. So all I've done is gone a little hoop. One, two, three. Okay, and enjoying that up. It's looking good. Next then. So his other foot I've got is going in the air. So this will cut in between the outside of his body and the inside of his body. So I'm going to draw a little U for the bottom of his foot. And then we're going to go up and draw in the one, two, three toes. So this toe will be the big one. And a little bit littler and then a little toe. And then we can go round and join the whole thing up. Like that. Looking good. If your hand's a bit lower, maybe you can put a little tail feather in as well. And that's looking lovely. Right. The last bit then is going to be the letter. So when I draw the letter, you could just draw a flat square. But just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to draw this bit nice and straight because that's where we'll be holding it. And then I'm going to curve these bits out. So not curve them out, but have them out at an angle, so going away from each other. Just adding a little bit of perspective in. And then in the middle, we're going to draw a nice big circle because we need room to put the H for Hogwarts. If you've got a really nice little pen, you might be able to go around like a flower. This is for the seal of the letter. And then join in the last bit, the bit that sticks down on the envelope. Okay, so I've just done like a line going that way and then up and then down. A bit like a skylight or like a a city sky scape, I guess you'd call it. And then I'm going to add in a few Hogwarts towers. I'm not going to worry if it's super straight. I'm going to add in some nice tall buildings. And then some... And then maybe one that's a bit further in the background. Because there's loads of towers in Hogwarts. And then maybe I'll do one that goes like a Disney castle style. That's what I'd, I'd call it, a Disney car. A Disney style one. It jolts out. And then maybe another one next to it. Maybe a few bits on top. Maybe one right in the, in the distance. Could be really little. So the windows would be littler. Right, so um, for this one, just because I've got such, these are such thick pens, I'm going to use a thinner pen for these bits. Because it can look a bit boring if you've just got a plain, um, if you've just got a plain roof. Oh, this pen's running out too. It's okay. I've got a backup pen. So if they're littler and they're further away, you'd do the roof tiles littler. So I'm just doing lots of 
like squiggly W's and then when they're bigger I might take my time a bit more and add the roof tiles in. Nice, right so next up I'm gonna add some sort of trees in. So for this I'm only gonna add like the outline, I'm not gonna draw lots of trees because number one it'll take me a long time to do and number two it doesn't always look very good and sometimes it's nice to just layer like flat colours so I'm just going to draw some trees by doing spiky bits, round bits and have a maybe have a practice at this separately because if, if you've done a really nice picture you might not want to go straight into trying to do this if you haven't practiced it so, so I'll just do lots of squiggly bits because they're like trees and maybe I'll do another layer of those but even bigger trees, bigger leaves because we're getting closer to the foreground they're gonna be bigger okay so then you've got two, a layer, a castle layer then a, a layer of trees and then another layer of trees and to finish it off I'm gonna pop on a nice big cloud for them to sit on because that's my favourite thing to pop them off, as you probably noticed. Probably every picture I've done has got a cloud in. And then I've written Hedwig at the bottom of the one I've done. So if you want to do that, the easiest way to do it just to, is to write it out like this, normally, head. And then all you're going to do is, in the Harry Potter ones, I've done this a little bit wrong. You can join the E up if you're... You're just going to colour it in. It doesn't have to be super good. Because we're going to use our black pens to go round these bits. Okay, so the E, this bit's thin. And then this bit's thick. And then this bit's thin. And then this bit's thick. And then that has to follow on, and that's thick. It goes thin here, and then a thick bit. And then this is nice and thick. Because it's as, it's as if it's written with a quill or fountain pen. It'll be a quill in the book. And then it's not going to be a circle, this bit. So this bit's going to be thin, but not super thin. And that's going to go out the same way. And then that's going to be thin. And then this bit's going to be thick, like that. This W is really tricky. I, I never get it quite right. So I'm, I'm just colouring it in to make it thicker. Because what I can't do is to do it like this would be really tricky. It's actually easier to do it by colouring each bit in. So we've got the head and then this bit's thin. And this bit's just stick and there's a little there's a little slope on that one and then it goes back down maybe like that I never quite get the W right and then the I is nice and easy each bit's got a, a little cap on the top and bottom this doesn't have to be circular because it's kind of done with a quill this bit's nice and thin and it sticks out that way. This bit's thin and it sticks out that way. I know I'm doing this really quickly, but you can always pause it at each bit. Okay, and then this bit's really thick all the way down. And then it goes thin here. So you see how this is a guideline. It curves around there, but I'm looking at the picture of how I've done it in my book. So I've just changed it afterwards and then it gets thick at the end. And then all you're going to do with, you can do it with your pencil by pressing down harder or if you've got a thinner pen or biro, any kind of pen will probably do, is you're going to go round it. And that's how I do sort of 3D or, or bubble writing.
Make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'm going to give you a really good tip to improve your artwork. I can't actually remember what the tip is, but I'm going to give you one. Right, so here we can add a few lightning bolts as well. I can only do lightning bolts in this direction, so I'm going to have to turn it. Comment below, can you do lightning bolts? in any direction. I can't. I've got to turn the paper every time. Right, so if you like these pictures, give us a thumbs up. And I'm just going to add some nice big clouds in the end. And there it is, Hedwig. Looks pretty good. So all you need to do is rub out your lines, colour it in. This is how I coloured mine in on the computer on my other picture I did. I actually like this one better than the one I've done on my computer. Um, I like the castles better. Okay, so I was editing my video. You can see it. And I forgot to do the tip. So here's your tip. When you are learning to draw, it is okay to copy, it is okay to trace. In fact, that's the best way to learn how to start drawing. So don't let anyone tell you that's cheating because you're actually learning all the time while you're doing that. So if you're drawing a picture of something, make sure you've got a picture of it next to you. Trace it first and then have the trace next to you and then draw, have a go at drawing it yourself. So that's my tip. And that, no one ever told me that. So hopefully that will help you get better. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.